Well, our foundation's always looking for schools that take the kids who haven't had a great high school experience. Their GPAs, their SAT scores are low enough that they might not get into most institutions. And so what we want to find is four-year institutions that can take those kids and embrace them. Johnson C. Smith and Delaware State are two really outstanding institutions. They really do figure out how to help these kids. It happens that a few of the historically black colleges are exemplars in this. It's great to see. We want to help them do it more and then figure out why that's not happening at other schools. Rockin' my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rockin' my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Rockin' my soul in the bosom of Abraham. Oh, rockin' my. We are preparing to educate mainstream America, made up of the majority of minority groups, who will come with a number of great strengths, but also they come with some challenges. Ninety-seven percent of our students will be on some sort of financial aid. So we spent a lot of time working with students trying to minimize the number of loans that they end up taking and trying to maximize the number of scholarships. But we can take that student and wrap our arms around them and provide them with a nurturing environment that will push them towards excellence. We do not start by looking at an ACT or an SAT. We will look at the grades, but we really want to know who are you what are your dreams? What are your aspirations? Do you have the grit to really realize your goals? Do you know how to solve tough problems? We're able to use that. We can turn it into very valuable data and say this is a good fit for this kind of learning environment. We're hoping that others could learn from us who come from those different populations because it's important to provide them with the education that they need. A four-year degree is still the gateway to the middle class. And that's going to help our country, because the more people we have in the middle class, the better. <laughs>